I was very hungry, and I had put mustard and ketchup and relish in the usual, and I put the hot dog up to my mouth, and somebody started screaming. I didn't know what was happening, so I looked up at my friend Terry and said, Did you hear that? Didn't you hear someone scream? He said, No. I got the hot dog up to my mouth again, and I was ready to bite, and the scream got louder. And it hit me. No, it couldn't be. And I looked down at the hot dog, and there was a face on him. Eyes, nose, a mouth. I had put the ketchup to where it looked like his hair. And he started telling me that I couldn't eat him. That he had a wife and seven kids at home to support. And I stood there with this hot dog and asked Terry, do you know this hot dog is talking to me? And he says, nah, let's get out of here. He thought I was just faking. And I told him, look at the thing, he's got a face and he's screaming. And the guy finally looked over and he got on the same trip that I was on. And we sat there carrying on a conversation with that hot dog. Finally, I decided I was just hallucinating, so I put it in my mouth and bit down. It screamed so loud that you could hear it all over town, so I had to throw it on the ground and step on it. And I was jumping on this hot dog in the middle of Market Street. I realized that I had murdered it. And I took off screaming down the street, scared, 